Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are watching me with a slight cold uh, play some GeoGuessr in the midst of all the editing for, uh, it's going to say Mission Across America. That That's not going to happen. How Not to Travel America. Um, some bad news on that front. I'm not going to be able to release the next episode, episode 3, on Sunday and Saturday for Patreons, I'm afraid. I know I'm sorry. All it takes is for me to get a cold or a bad throat and I can't record the narration properly and a couple of other things as well that have gone on in my life have meant that I've had to postpone that to Wednesday. So Wednesday hopefully will be the release date but I'll confirm that on a post. For now I want to satisfy the craving in all of the GeoGuessr centric fans. <coughs> oh Jesus Christ. The GeoGuessr loving fans among you that would quite like to play along with me on a good old bit of GeoGuessr. We're going to do the Capitals map, uh, but this time we're going to do three minutes per round, okay? Partly because I've never done it and I think it would be quite fun to do this, to have a bit of a time limit on things, see what score we can get um, with that restriction, but also because it's easier for me to edit and I'm just chock-a-block. Right, we're going to make a challenge. Three minutes per round, no moving. That's it. That is the parameters that I was after. There's going to be detective work, but it's going to be under a time pressure. The results of those two things could be interesting. They could be embarrassing. Let's, let's find out which one it's going to be. Here we go. That seems to be Greek. I have been known to mix up Greek with Cyrillic writing, but looking at these people, I would say, you know, keeping one eye on the time, she's pretty Greek, I think. Face, oh, mate, oh, come on. I mean, if he's not called Stavros, actually, you know, Stavros Flatley, I don't know who he is. Um, okay, I, again, I apologise for the bunged up nose. So this has got to be Athens then. <coughs> we should probably stop farting around looking at people and judging how Greek they are on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, but he is 7. Uh, and having a look at these, these road names to try and get a perfect score because everyone's going to get this. Sopho Sophocleus. Sophocleus. Got to be a bit careful. Sophocleus. And then over there begins with A. Oh God, get. Oh no, I've got to get the old compass on. This eats up time. Okay, all right. Sophocleus is actually east to west. <clears throat> and then the A, the road beginning with A, Amphas, A Aphinas. He's heading sort of north to south. Okay, so with half the time gone, I'm going to go in there. I might have a cheeky blow of the nose, actually, just to improve things your end. <laughs> Don't know if that improved anything. Um, but here we go. What is it? Is, are our immune systems just, you know, shot at this point? Thanks to two years indoors. Who else is ill in Britain? It is cold. Asky Plu. Right, okay. Let's let's think about this. You can see mountains over there. Um, Sophocleus. Mountains. Would that put us further over here? Oh my god, we haven't got long left. Never going to get a perfect score here. What about around here? Imagine if I found it. I am going to put the marker down very soon. About around here. Oh, I don't know. I've gone there. Oh! Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I went through a few different changes of 
mind there because you know you could see mountains in the distance but they're obviously they were these ones fairly far away but at one point I thought that's what I was looking at but that was a bit stupid and then in the end I just looked at the the directions of the roads and thought these ones add up more than anything I've seen a slight you know a slight off kilter to the right and there it is Sophocles and Athenus, in homage to Athena, if you watch, she's, she's not watching this. Um, but that is quite, that's, that's pretty, I wouldn't say exceptional, but pretty jammy to get two points off there. Who's keeping up with me? Let me know. Are you not playing along? Ah, too late now. You've screwed it. Right, next round then. Community Info Hub. Volunteering, so all English so far. Canberra, Canberra information. Right, I'm, I am. I'm going to get this one. I've decided. So, Dendi Fitness First North North Quarter. We're obviously in the centre. We don't have. Ah, here we go. Narrowland Street. Let's get right in there because we want to get this one. We don't want to be fannying about. So you've got that distinctive circular centre. And apparently, well obviously we're not there. Where is the centre of this place? Ah, here it is. It's just north of this city hill thing. So, two minutes left. The, these two have been easy, by the way. This, this isn't, I realise this isn't that entertaining. It's going to be entertaining if, if I'm really stuck. But it's it's a challenge in itself getting the street bang on. And I'm digging a bigger hole for myself by chatting right now. Um, so Nerolan and G I think that says George. And we're facing north. So Nerolan. Can you imagine if I didn't do this? There is every possibility with 119 left that I don't do this. Surely, Tom, if you don't do this, my friend, you won't be a friend of mine any longer. We've got to be in this area, man. Why was I talking? Why am I still talking? 51 seconds. I can't believe it. What did that other thing say? North Quarter. Where's Dency? 30 seconds left. Don't believe this. I'm looking for fitness first now. What am I doing? Is there anywhere else this could be? I don't believe I've screwed that. Wow, there it is. I've got I've got two points off again. Right at the end there, I did consider going down here. Um, but I didn't because it just looks, it doesn't look right. This is the area that looks right. And there it is. Ah, oh, that's why I couldn't find it. Narolan is tiny. I still should have found it. There's no two ways about it. But it just so happens that at this sort of altitude on the map, you can't see, even there, you can't see this one. Genge Street, I thought it didn't say George, and then Narolan, they're both hiding behind sort of a sea of like retail buildings. But 4998, I'll take that, the perfect score was gone anyway. Next one, who's keeping up with my very high score, my somehow very high score? Next one, right, I've got to use my noggin here. 
to actually get the country. We're driving on the left. Have I had this before? This was always the... This is the danger now when I play this map, is have I had this before? But I don't think I've had this. Um, and the flags here tell me that it's Indonesia, I think. So it's going to be Jakarta. Uh, is it? Yeah. It's going to be Jakarta. I can't move, remember. Um, so it's a matter of... Ah, Jasa. Harja. That looks like it could be a building that's in the centre, that one there. And that's to the sort of... To the west. Northwest slightly. West, northwest. So we can have a little look. Let's get in there. And I mean, it's such a massive city. But if we can figure out... Well, that's the thing. I'm not going to be able to figure out where the tall buildings are, really. Maybe around here. We've got a bit of time. What is that? Sh Sheepy? Shopee? Something P. So if I can find that building... <coughs> um, it's a very slim it's a, it's a real long shot but it is quite a tall building so if you can find that sheepy sherpy or we just go central Jakarta and we head east and try and find a, a Burger King there's KFC we're halfway there. Also, oh, we could be down here somewhere. Oh, there's another KFC. See, this road sort of heads, yeah, southwest. I'm going to just put that down there for now and look for a Burger King, basically, with 15 seconds. There's a McDonald's. Doesn't put me any closer. Ah, oh, six seconds left for a Burger King. Another McDonald's. We bet. I, I just hope we've got the right city now. Yes, we have. That's where it was. Look at that, Burger King Tebet. I mean, it's not the worst again, but you know it's okay. It's not amazing. Um, a bit more time, and yeah, I would have found. The Burger King, because that is the right direction of the road. Um, the sheepy thing, I don't think we're going to see that. It's not necessarily going to correlate with what's on the map. You know, it could be the Tokopedia Tower, and it's got, you know. Um, but that's okay. I'm, you know, whenever I haven't played GeoGuess in a, in a while, I'm always happy to not embarrass myself, and I haven't embarrassed myself yet. Um, I just, I'd like to get a perfect score here. I really would. So, and I should have got it in Canberra. Next one, Moneygram. Moneygram, but it's French. So I would predict that this is, um, Canada. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I don't think so. Palm tree. Um, people dress like that. No. And I'm glad. I'm glad we've got something obscure. I want something to test me. Ah, we've got a flag up there. Is that... Okay. I'll come back to the flag. Colloq... Te... International. <laughs> Is that the Comoros flag? Do they speak French in the Comoros? Quite possibly. It's certainly a place that I've you know, seen very little of. I mean, with these number plates, the black number plates with right, uh, white writing. It's all going to be... That could say Comoros there at the end, but 
Not necessarily. I don't know if they speak French in the Comoros. I have no idea. I wouldn't have thought so, but who knows. Um, Exim Bank. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's interesting. It's not going to point to the country we're in. And up there... No, we're not going to get it from that. That it's that flag. That's the flag that I. That's the clue, rather that I, that's going to be resting on this. Um, tell you what, if I get into the, I've got a minute, so not a lot of time. But if I get into the Comoros, we can at least see if they speak French at all. Um, where's the capital? How am I supposed to know what the capital is from that? Is that... What's Mayotte? That's a, is that a different country? Jesus. Where's the capital of Comoros? I have no idea. There's no, I can't see anything here that looks big remotely. I don't think we're here. I think I've got that flag wrong. But I haven't got any time to change it. Ooh, that looks a bit better. I mean, ooh, oh, yes. <laughs> I've done it again. So the ooh, ooh, yes at the end was when I saw some French at the, uh, literally with a second to go. Uh, I don't know what it was. Was it? I think I saw Des, Bank Central Des Comoros, which is ironically. Oh no, it's not the bank we were right next to. We were next to this one, but again, it's another one of those where if I had ten seconds more, I would have literally zoomed in and seen this bank. Um, but just. I don't know, I guess I was talking too much again, but I like the fact that I've got two points off yet again. How have I... Can't, I can't remember a game where I've been that consistently just off the mark. I've definitely never had a game where I've had three, four, nine, nine, eights before. That's quite something. Um, I guess you're more likely to get that on a three minutes per round game. Anyway, last round, I'm not going to say anything. Let's just see what happens here. And that's got to be... No, that's not going to be Paris. It's going to be Eastern Europe or... I mean... I don't know. Is it Prague? Let's keep looking. Louvre. Ah, oh, hang on. That sounds more sort of Lithuanian or something. Tabakas hams. Look at that. Okay, this this I've got to this has got to be the one where I shine. Boku Dobbs Rotas Aksauri JD Bracelet Handmade. Okay, so we've got some English. It's it's not Hungarian, it's not any of the Sort of Slavic sounding ones. Samaxa. Can't be hungry, can it? And I got 150, so a bit of time. Axauri. Axisauri. I think this is. Uh, I'm gambling a bit here, but I think... Let's try Vilnius. Let's see what we've got in here. Just look at the... The street names, really. I'm not sure, though. I'm really not sure. What I'm looking for is this structure. Where would that be? And then, of course, it could be Riga. Okay, we would be around here if we were anywhere. 
and I'm not really seeing much. I really don't want to get the wrong country here on the final round. I'm going to put it down there and then I'm going to fly and I mean fly over to Riga. It's better not be hungry, man. Thirty seconds left to change my mind or not. Fuck. <clears throat> Ten seconds to decide. I'm so tempted to change it. I'm changing it. I've changed it. Is that a terrible idea? Yes! Come on! Oh! <laughs> One point off this time. I'm kind of gutted it's not two. What a change. Um, so obviously... Ah, oh, and there's the thing. There it is. Damn. Should have seen that really, but... I was I was flapping a bit, um, so obviously I didn't have any street names to work to work with. Um, I, and and the, there's not a lot there. There's Louvre. I can see Louvre, but there's not a lot else. There's not a lot around here that I could have gone off. It's this that I should have noticed. I'm just so glad I was brave enough to to change that. Riga seems like a a, a more there's more going on in terms of historic stuff. Didn't seem there was there was too much in Vilnius in comparison. I'm sure it's lovely. Um, so that's partly why I changed it. But I'm happy. 4999. That's a good score, I think. I don't know. That's a funny one to, to put my finger on. There was a couple of rounds that weren't absolute gimmies, really. Like the, the Comoros one and, and the last one. Uh, the other three were pretty easy to work out which city you were in for various reasons. But score-wise, I think is where I've impressed myself. Um, and I think that's partly because I've been, haven't have played GeoGuessr in a little while. Um, I am going to stop talking now and leave you to enjoy the rest of your week. I hope you enjoyed that vid and I hope you enjoyed playing along with it. Let me know how you did as always. Sorry that I've had to delay the release of number three, but it's got to be right. And uh, yeah, these hour long videos are, are quite mammoth, as you can imagine. So uh, thanks for your patience and I will see you all very soon. I'll see you on Wednesday. Take it easy.